Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have a fantastic show for you today. We are joined by Babes, and I can't wait to chat with them first off in the show. We've also got Wings Over Madison, if you like wings, and Blowin' Smoke Barbecue for some awesome barbecue food. It's all your guide to the best restaurants in town, so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to go, coming up on The Restaurant Show. Hello and welcome back to the restaurant show. We are here on location at Babe's Grill and Bar at 5614 Schrader Road on Madison's West Side. Thank you for having me. So lovely to be here. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. First, I'm going to do some introductions. This is Sonia Newell, in-house baker here at Babe's. Rachel Lowry, sales manager, and Debbie DeCleve. I got the last name right? Yes, you did. Fantastic. You. Supervisor and daytime bartender extraordinaire. Thanks again for having me, ladies. Lovely to see you. Okay, we've got a lot of beautiful food out in front of us. We are going to start with a appetizer that is famous to Babe's because of many reasons. So, Debbie, I'm going to hand this off to you. Tell us about this big, beautiful thing in front of you. Well, this is Babe's famous nachos. Famous. They are sold by far the most on the appetizer list. Okay. Anybody that's been here before says, I got to have your nachos. If they bring friends in from outside, other people, they're like, we need this. So this is a mainstay for a mainstay restaurant, grill and bar, Babe's full order, right? This, this is, is the full, full so it know is. this. You can't get this half, but why bother? Absolutely. Because look at it, it's beautiful. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what's on this order of nachos here. Well, this one looks like we have beans and, and hamburger, okay. black olives, okay. onions, tomatoes, and we have cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, and, and two then layers. do I see some spicy peppers on there? Yes. Okay, and that is something you can get or can yes. ask on the I side. Yes, I always ask everybody, do they want the jalapenos on it or do they want them on the side? Okay, perfect, because not everybody loves the crazy spice, but if the traditional nacho eater wants their spice, they can go ahead and have Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And then here on the Absolutely. side it comes with? We have homemade salsa and homemade sour cream. Salsa. Mm -hmm. We wow. make it in-house. Wow, that's unusual. So. so you can go ahead and we're going to do that momentarily. We are going to go ahead and you know, get a little <laughs> bit gluttonous with the nachos because one of the fun things about nachos is that you get to kind of make a pig of yourself a little bit. When you eat them, you get to dip and get messy. So Absolutely. we are going to do that. I think Debbie, who takes care of everything, brought us some silverware and napkins. So when we get We messy, sure did when we're all set. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna try those momentarily. We are very excited to give uh, the famous nachos a snack. We're gonna move on just momentarily here. We're gonna have Sonia tell us about these beautiful desserts. Now you are an in-house baker, so you make all of these in-house here at Babes. Yes. They can be eaten here, and there's another option if people want. Tell us about that, Sonia. Um, well, we started to do pies now. Um, we have a pie of the week. Um, okay. Caramel apple seems to be the most popular pie, and we decided to make that the in-house pie. Okay. So this is so something we always have. Caramel apple pie we have here, and I can see it's smothered and delicious on the top here with caramel. Inside we have fresh apples this time of year, which I'm sure is delectable and delicious in the mm -hmm. fall. This is pretty And you can order these for the holidays or order them just a 48-hour notice. Oh, wow. Okay. So people can order these, pick them up here at Babe's and take them out, serve them to their families, call them their own, or give you <laughs> credits too. Beautiful. Okay, Sonia, tell me a little bit about more what's on the table here. Sure, so we have three different kinds of cheesecakes okay. in little jars. I'm gonna um, hold them up here and you tell me what each one is. So this is a strawberry cheesecake. It has a graham cracker crust, um, sweet cream cheese, and fresh strawberry topping, and Ugh. whipped cream. Cream cheese is my favorite, oh my goodness. And it's in this beautiful little, this is a little mason jar kind of mm -hmm. jar, right? Perfect size. Perfect size, so you can eat this with Especially we're going after to. eating the nachos. <laughs> exactly, we have to top it off with something. We can't have nacho <laughs> breath. We have to have cream cheese, graham cracker, strawberry breath, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. Let me grab another one here, tell us a little bit about this one. So this is our plain uh, cheesecake, just uh, regular cheesecake with whipped cream on it, and graham it bottom. What is, what is, makes it a cheesecake? Like, obviously there's cheese in it, but is there a certain baking process that makes it specifically come out in that specific way that cheesecake has? Um, the cream cheese and cooking it really slowly, baking it really slow keeps it in a nice texture and not overcooked because it can dry out really easily. Okay, there you go, there's the key. I never knew that, I always wondered because Cheesecake as a thing has a specific texture that people are looking for. Um, creamy, delicious, a little bit of firmness, not dry. Right, not Cook dry. It slowly, key. Dry is okay. bad. Got another one here. And that's the salted caramel cheesecake. So oh, that's goodness. the same cheesecake with a homemade salted caramel topping. Salted caramel, I've noticed, is becoming a really kind of um, fascinating and trendy 
taste combination. People like their sweet and their sweet salt. Sweet and salt, yeah. So people, is it sea salt that makes it that special yep. extra yep. crunchy It's sprinkled salty? on the top, yep. I can see it in there. Wow, beautiful. Again, with the pretty little mason jar, love it. Now tell me about these right here. I'm gonna just So these are dream both. jars. Dream jars, okay. So this is a chocolate dream. It has a chocolate cheesecake bottom oh with goodness. crushed um, Oreos, chocolate pudding, and whipped cream. Oh my goodness. And then this is a seasonal dream jar. This is a pumpkin dream, so the bottom of that is a crushed ginger snaps, graham crackers, and then it has a layer of sweet cream cheese and then a homemade pumpkin pie pudding. Wow, and you can really see the layers in there. It's just beautiful, and I love that it's a pumpkin dream, because it's a dream come true filled with pumpkins and sweet deliciousness. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I think that people are probably going to want to come in and try that. And is this now a piece of the caramel apple pie. Yes. So you can now see the insides of this a little bit. You can see beautiful chunks of apple. Um, and what is the, it looks like there's some nuts on the top there. Tell us yep, about so that. So it's a, it's a apple pie with a Dutch topping and then it okay. has pecans and caramel. Wow, and what what is the, does Dutch mean nuts in the topping or what exactly now, does Dutch that? is typically a flour, okay. um, oat, oh. sugar, butter oh. okay. topping. So not typically does it have nuts, but this, okay. because it's a caramel apple pie, it has nuts. So caramel apple pie, Dutch apple pie mixture action happening yeah, all at yeah, once here. Fusion. I've heard of the, yeah, fusion, very mm -hmm. good. <laughs> fusion again, because here we have gorgeous desserts. We have um, very knowledge, knowledgeable women and staff here that are running the place essentially. Um, we're gonna try some nachos just shortly, but I just wanted to ask Rachel really quickly. I know that you have, in addition to the grill, the bar, the desserts, the beautiful beers, alcohols that you serve here and atmosphere, you have also a banquet facility we here do. in which you can host different types of parties. Can you tell us just yep. briefly about we can that? Do, we can do anything from business meetings to rehearsal dinners, showers, birthday parties. Fantastic. Um, anything from sit down dinners to drinks and appetizers. Wow. So people can come rent out the facility, get any of these gorgeous foods in front if you wanted to have an appetizer drink thing all the way yep. to a sit down dinner. Yep. That can be uh, ordered up here at Babes by giving them a call. You can order order nachos and desserts to be picked up or enjoyed here. So what we're gonna do now, folks, is we are gonna dig in a little bit on the nachos and maybe get a bit messy and then hopefully get a chance to try the desserts. But again, I wanted to thank you all for having me here and us here at Babe's Grill and Bar on Schrader Road and west side of Madison. Okay, let's give it a try. If you don't mind, I'm gonna reach across you and have a delicious bite of nacho. Yeah. Ladies, join me so I don't look like, you know, you, uh, you know what. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Beef and bean nacho with some jalapenos, olives. Mm. Everything mm -hmm. a nacho should be. Absolutely everything mm -hmm. a nacho should be. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my one second I have left and try this delicious dessert. And oh my goodness. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Absolutely. Thank you all for joining us. And please stay tuned on the restaurant show. After the break, we're stopping by Blow and Smoke to check out their fabulous beef brisket. Stick around. Welcome back to the restaurant show. I'm so excited to have our next guest with us because there's a little taste of Kansas City right here in Dane County. This is Robert Bishop from Blow and Smoke Barbecue here in Wanakee, and we are on location. Thanks for having us here, Robert. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to come up here. I mean, you know, whether, uh, you know, we film this obviously outside of normal business hours, but it always still smells so good in here all the time. Good, good. So we're, uh, we're excited about that. So what are, we, uh, what are we making today? We're gonna, this is a beef brisket. Okay. Uh, we're gonna trim this up. We use it for a few different things. Uh, this is the flat end. Okay. You can tell it's flat. This is called the point end. Okay. A lot fattier on the point end. Sure. More lean on the, on the. Uh, sure. On the flat end. Yep. So we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna trim some fat out of here. So we're gonna kind of see this process from beginning. Start to finish. From yep. Start to finish. Okay. So tell us a little bit about brisket. I mean, what part of the what part of the cow does that come from? This comes off the chest plate of okay. the cow. It's uh, very tough. Yeah. It's, it used to be considered just a crappy piece of meat. Really? But then people figured out how to cook it and it's delicious. Okay. And and uh, kind of going off of that, um, we talked a little bit before the show started about pricing. Yep. And at one point, this used to be a very cheap cut of meat that you could get, but that's not so anymore. Can you tell nope. us about how that's changed? Back in the day, used to get this 10 or 15 years ago back in Kansas City, 69, 99 cents a pound. Wow. Now we're talking 250, almost three bucks a pound up here. Wow. But uh, like I say, it's because everybody's figured out how to, to cook it proper and, uh, you know, of course, right. that's the way things go. Right. 
and it looks like you're cutting a lot of the fat off. Too, a lot of the so. fat off of the and point you're paying, end. You're still paying three dollars a pound for the fat. Mm, exactly. <laughs> the the, the uh, point end has a lot of fat in it, so okay. you don't really need much on the outside. Okay. The flat end, I'll leave that fat on there because it's it's a little sure. leaner. Okay. That'll just kind of cook on through, keep it moist during the co uh, cooking process. Okay. Cool. Cool. So then you're gonna kind of are you cutting slices now? Is that kind of well? I'm just this is this is my flat end. I'll That's cook this. End. Okay. I'll smoke this only for about six or seven hours. Okay. Because otherwise it'll start drying up a little bit. And you smoke all your own meat here. Oh yeah, yep. And that's uh, that's it's all back, smoking. I'm assuming. Pardon? You you smoke that out back? Right here in the kitchen. Right yeah. here in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Heard of a lot of people having like so those uh, outdoor smoke houses, you know, that yep. people can get at their homes and stuff, but you do it right here in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So uh, talk to us a little bit about some of the catering that you do, because I know you do some catering. You've got a you've got a um, I don't know if it's a truck or a trailer that you you have here. I have so, a vending cart that yeah. uh, I didn't actually get it out much last year. We're just short staffed and very busy. So busy here. That's a good yeah. problem to have. I we suppose. do. Uh, we've already about half booked for the summer for weddings. Wow. Uh, yeah, barbecue for weddings is great. We all the sauce on the side, so yeah. don't have to worry about too much of a mess. That's right. I remember that. that. That's something that you usually do is you like to have the sauce on the side. Yep. Which is yeah, I want cool. people to taste the uh, smoke flavor and the dry rubs. Sure, yeah. Now this part right here mm -hmm. is we're going to be burnt ends. Okay. See all that extra little fat in there? All right. And after about 14 hours, all that will cook out of there. Oh, really? Okay. Pretty much. And just it'll just be juicy, extremely flavorful meat. Okay. And well, this, you uh, got my attention. So This we'll use for uh, beef dinner. Okay. All right. So we'll just rub her up here real quick. And can you tell us what's in the rub, Robert? Well, it's just a combination of spices, brown sugar, okay. you know, a little seasoned salt, uh, garlic powder, okay. various things. I was just kind of half teasing you. I didn't know right. if you wanted to give well, your secret. I'll give out a few so. tips there. Okay. Any of my All tips. Right. All right. And you've won some awards. I mean, this is all award-winning stuff. Can you talk yep. to us about some of the awards that you've won? Uh, well, we won some big contests. We won two grand championships. Okay. Which doesn't seem like much, but when you have to rely on 24 different people liking your food all in one day. Right. It's it's a it's a toughie. I bet. And it's yeah. just it, 24 people, 24 different judges. Is yeah, you'll get uh, six judges will try your ribs, six will try your pork, six will try your beef. Wow. But uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're kind of getting a taste of the process yeah. here. And so yeah. you just how long does that rub have to be on there? I marinated for a day. A full day, and yep. then you smoke it after yep. the day. Wow. Okay. During competitions, they just give you uh, maybe 12 hours. Because you've got to be raw when you check in, uh -huh. then you can do your thing. So, but here at the restaurant, I like to go a little longer, you know. Sure, yeah. So you have to check in. You yep. check your raw meat in. They check it in, they weigh it, okay. they make sure everything's. It's a very well run contest. It's, it's about as fair as you could ever get when sure. you're cooking food and all, you know. But I bet, uh, I bet. yeah. So then we gotta, we're gonna put some rub on this now. And this, which one is for the burnt ends now? Uh, this one down here is for burnt ends. That's for the burnt ends. Yeah. Okay. It's, it just. Uh, Cooks up perfect for that. Okay, and then what are we making with this? This will one? be for beef dinners. That's for beef dinners. Yep, we slice that a little thicker. Okay. Um, and it's got just enough fat in there to keep it sure. good and moist. Okay. Oh, all right. That is just <laughs> the smell. I mean, you can't see, you can't smell it from out there, but it smells so good. This rub is just amazing. So we do all this like uh, we would for competition, because mm -hmm. it's. Once you've had the best, you just don't want to have anything less. Of course. So I treat it all the way I would if I was competing. Right. Just and with a little bit more time. Right. A little, little bit more. Yeah, it TLC. doesn't take much. Take, take much more time, and yeah. it's just so worth it. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you. Okay. So what all comes with? Uh, I mean, you have a, a variety of different sides that you can have. What yep. all comes with some of that? Uh, tail salad. We make all of them from scratch. Tail salad, coleslaw, mm -hmm. uh, baked beans, broccoli raisin salad. Okay. I'm going to so put gonna... together a sandwich here. Ooh, yeah. Sandwiches, <clears throat> and you just use. Uh, looks like you're using like Texas toast. Texas toast. Yep. Okay. All right. And this is the beef. Okay. After we've been smoked and sliced. Oh right, all right. Yeah. And that's just how you cook it then. I mean, there's no further cooking process after nope. smoking. Nope. You smoke it, pull it out, let it cool a little bit, slice yeah. her up. Yeah. And it just it just falls apart. I mean. You know, we talked a little Tender, bit. juicy. We talked a little bit before the show about how uh, there's people who are kind of smoking their own meats at home. Like you can buy these little smoke houses. Right. Is there any recommendation? Because there's a certain kind of wood that you want to buy, like wood chips that you want to buy to to smoke. I mean, what? Can well, you give I use a variation. Back? I use uh, like pecan for the ribs. Okay. Uh, oak for the beef. Okay. Pork. Apple on our prime rib. Apple on our bacon. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. All that stuff makes a difference. That's just so amazing to me. 
Most of our sandwiches come with kettle chips okay. and a pickle. All right. Uh, you can upgrade to any of our homemade sides. Very cool. And there's a delicious beef sandwich. There it is, right there. Well, as soon as we go to commercial break, I'm gonna be chowing down on this. So if you would like to chow down on something just as good, come on up to Blown Smoke Barbecue here in Wanakee. Hey, thanks for having us today, Thank Rob. you, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Don't go away, there's more restaurant show coming up right after the break, so stick around. If you like wings, stick with us, because Wings Over Madison is joining us next. Welcome back to the restaurant show. As promised, we've got wings on the menu today. So we are speaking with the expert. We've got Wings Over Madison here. David Gordon is the owner operator of Wings Over Madison. And we've had the opportunity to have your fabulous food, but thank you for joining us and sharing with our viewers what you have. Thanks for having me. Glad to see you, yeah. glad to have you. And I love talking wings. So let's discuss this a little bit. But what do you think before we get started? We're gonna jump into a demo here, but there's a lot of wing places out there, I guess you could say. Um, what do you think sets yourself apart from other folks out there? What makes Wings Over Madison unique? Absolutely. Um, so all of our chicken, bone-in or boneless, it's all fresh, never frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, our bone-in jumbo wings, they're jumbo, so they're very meaty. Yeah. Um, unlike the competition, you probably we've got get some sl smaller wings. These are the bone-in well. here, right? So, yeah. Jumbo. What's hiding behind box wings. number one? A big <laughs> pile right of wings. Look at that. Um, and that's awesome. with our mild uh, buffalo sauce. Okay. Uh, one of our more popular flavors. Yeah. Um, Lots of people like the the bone in, um, but the I think the boneless are great too. A different option, a different sort of texture. Um, so let let's go jump into the demo here and kind of right. show us how you do this. Excellent. So our boneless wings, they're actually chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. They're fresh, never frozen. Yeah. Um, and we hand bread them in the store. Uh, like I said, unlike the competition, you'll probably get uh, frozen chunks of, small chunks of chicken mm -hmm. that are pre-breaded sure. and just drop in the fryer. And what a difference it makes. I mean, when you start with something fresh and are actually, you know, really starting with, as you can see, fresh chicken, breading it yourself, and yep. then baking it from there. Mm -hmm. So, it from there. Mm -hmm. right, here's our two ounce tender. Okay. We do a lightly, a light bread. Um, we have these bigger baskets at the store that really shake off the breading nicely. Okay. Um, and do a little. I don't light know that I've ever seen the, this process. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty huh. simple, okay. but uh, makes the chicken delicious. Right. Well, you know why I've never seen it is because most people, like you said, don't go through this process. Right. Right. It's just like I said, the mm -hmm. pre-breaded and. Yeah. Um, but this is all, and everything's cooked to order. So you order it, then we bread it and drop it right in the fryer. Mm -hmm. And you have different sauces. You mentioned this. Which one is on the the bone in? So wing that's here? the wimpy. That's our. Uh, wimpy. Our, yeah, that sounds like our, probably uh, what I would order. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, five levels of buffalo sauce. One okay. five. That's the most uh, popular. All right. And, um, our spiciest is afterburner. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like the names. That's great. <laughs> so here's our breaded chicken. We drop okay. in the fryer mm -hmm. for uh, four or five minutes. Okay. Um, so I will keep that. Through the there. magic not, of television. Yeah, through the magic. Just imagine it frying, yep. right? And then we're very sanitized, <laughs> switching gloves. Um, okay, and I see on here that you have 23 different sauces. I won't make you name them all, but <laughs> I love sauce, so if you tell me there's 23 sauces, I will probably come back at least 23 <laughs> times to give them a try. Yeah, so we have, um, like I said, five different levels of buffalo. Mm -hmm. We have several different kinds of barbecue, several different kinds of teriyaki a couple Asian flavors, uh, and a few dry rubs as well. Awesome, um, love it. So here's our cooked tenders. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're plain. You order them uh, with whatever sauce you want. So I'm gonna just dump them in the bowl. Okay, and you and said you've got, what, a honey yeah, barbecue? Yeah, it is honey barbecue. Okay, so that honestly is my favorite sauce. So yep. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, and so this is also our most popular uh -huh. flavor. So we just... Oh, okay, so my favorite is, I thought I was unique and special, but yeah. no. <laughs> So it was the honey popular. barbecue, and we just give it a little, okay. little flip sauce. All right. Sauce, yeah. just gets now a little, we're getting gets exciting over here. Kitchen, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, hey, so, if you're not making a mess, you're not doing it yep. right. And we give plenty of sauce. And you said before we started now, um, a lot of folks at home know you do some delivery. Yep. Yep. So we do, uh, we actually offer free delivery. Uh -huh. um, if you order through our website at wingsovermadison.com. You get free um, delivery. Free delivery, or if you call... Uh, the Pretty store good. directly. Mm -hmm. so, um, okay, so that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then what what kind of hours? Like, do you guys 
keep over there. I'm gonna give this a try while you tell me. Yep, so Monday through Thursday, we're mm -hmm. open from 4 p.m. I'm gonna make such a mess, just FYI. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all right. You can uh, bring mm -hmm. your wet naps as well. So mm -hmm. um, we're open until 1 a.m. during mm -hmm. the week. Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay. Friday, Saturday, 11 a.m. until 3 a.m. And then Sunday, 11 a.m. until uh, 1 a.m. Keep talking. So. I'm just going to finish <laughs> this wing off. Okay. So uh, no. open late every night. Yeah. You know, and you guys just sit at home and we'll bring the mm. food to you. Um, mm -hmm. We pride ourselves on uh, really fast delivery. We average under 30 minutes. Great. But again, everything is still cooked to order, so we just you know get your food out the door really quick. That's awesome. Um, and we deliver near East Side, near West Side mm -hmm. to Gammon, uh, and then we go all the way south to the Belt Line. Okay. Now, if I don't fill up on wings, what else do you guys have? Because these are awesome. Just okay. so you know, really good stuff. That's why I keep eating. But tell me, <laughs> tell me what else you have. Awesome. So we mm -hmm. have uh, we also have Go. ribs that are very popular. They're St. Louis style ribs. Mm -hmm. uh, we slow cook them overnight, uh, and then I we have no order fingers them. left to use. <laughs> When we order them, uh, when you order them, then we finish mm -hmm. them off on the grill. Okay. Uh, so they're fall off the bone. I'm gonna we also pop have, these open. Uh, chicken sandwiches and wraps. Okay. Salads, uh, and also if you're looking on the healthier side, we have broiled chicken. Oh wow, you guys actually have a bigger menu than I expected. Yeah. So that's yeah. really great. And then of course you've got some. We got a bunch of sides. Sides. Yes. So we have regular crinkle cut fries that aren't pictured, but here are waffle fries, which mm -hmm. are the most popular side. Yeah. Nice part about these, you can. Order them with any of our dry rubs. Got it. Uh, I brought our most popular dry rub, Which the garlic is, parm. Okay. Oh, garlic uh, parmesan. I knew that. It's so gonna be my favorite again. Sprinkle them all on. I'm so typical. Okay. Uh, we also have like Mustang Ranch, West Texas Mesquite, Cajun, and again that can be sauce. Uh, placed on the waffle fries. Perfect. Uh, so you've got all kinds of sauce and all kinds of seasoning. Yeah, like what yeah. else do you, can all you possibly ask for? Flavor zone. <laughs> um, Real quick, we're almost gotta go, but I'm gonna eat this fry. Mm -hmm. Will you tell me about your catering? You have some catering yep, too, right? Yep. Okay. So catering, uh, I mean, we're being across mm -hmm. from the hospitals, uh, we cater a lot to the hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, the university as well, uh, fraternities, sororities, uh, business school organizations, Great. engineering, uh, and then we also do a lot of the uh, local businesses. Uh, we have really large trays, the boneless uh, wings come in trays of six pounds. Wow. The bone in we have is as big as 120, uh, and it's very affordable. We can cater to your needs. You know, we can probably feed everyone. At five, Flyers six are small. Dollars. Yeah. Sauces galore. Seasonings. Yep. <laughs> free delivery. I mean, okay. What don't you have? Well, that's great, David. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. I got a lot to eat, so I guess we got to go to commercial <laughs> break. We're going to be back with more restaurant show right after this. I had so much fun checking out all these great local spots. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Jessa Jeremiah reminding you that life is too short to eat average. <laughs>